Okay, what's going on? Happy Friday, Orbis X community. All right, I have an update for you uh, because it's Friday, so why not? I was going to postpone this till Monday, but uh, I know you guys are eager and anxious for this new feature, so here it is. So if you head on over to your booking form settings, admin, then booking form settings, and scroll down, you will see a list of your services and your packages. And everything should look the same as it did before, with the one exception that now when you click on money and time, and you scroll down, you have a new section here for pricing variations. This is where you can put things like vehicle sizes or film types, uh, if you do tinting, or it could be anything, paint correction levels, so on and so forth. So I'll show you uh, some demo ones that I set up here to give you an exa example of this, or some examples. Uh, so in this case, on this detailing service, um, so we have our you know set price that we can show to users like or customers like starting at whatever price, uh, but then we can set variations. And that's where we can put, you know, sedans and coupes, uh, SUVs, trucks, vans. You can put as many or as few as you want there. And you can also adjust the time that it takes because a van might take you longer than a sedan or a coupe, for example, right? And then you can also delete those. You can change them on the fly. Uh, so if I need this one, maybe it's $215 now. So I change that and then you'll get a little notice here. Pricing updated, smiley face. And you can also drag and drop the order that these will appear on your form. Um, so in this case, we're happy with the way they are. So I'll hit cancel um, and I'll quickly show you what those look like. And then I'll show you some other options, um, how you can use these. So I'll just open up this in a new window. So here's our demo form. Uh, so we go through and here's our detailing one, for example. And here you can see the sedans, coupes, SUVs, trucks, vans, all that good stuff. Uh, so what happens now is if someone, let's say, just goes to choose this, it's going to force them to choose one of your options though. So if they click this, it automatically selects the first one and then they can change to whatever they want. Now, alternatively, let's say they just click on trucks. It will automatically select that service for you um, and then just go through the same thing. So basically it'll do that automatically and then it'll factor in the time in your available dates. So if let's say we put, you know, two hours approximately, but then we have these different variations, well, if I choose the four hour one, it's going to calculate your available slots based on the four hours, not the two hours, because they've chosen something that requires uh, the extra time, right? Uh, similarly, the pricing, this could say starting at $5, for example, but then if I choose, you know, SUVs, it's going to update the price to $195. Now, it doesn't update it here because this is just showing you're starting at whatever it happens to be. But where it does update it is, of course, once they actually submit the booking request, but also if you have pricing uh, enabled to show the cost, it'll say approximate cost, and then it'll update the pricing there with whatever the variation is. So scrolling back up here. So in this case, 195 for SUVs. Now let's say I change that to sedans and coupes, and then I scroll down to the pricing again, we're gonna see it's now 145, right? So that's pretty cool. Now this goes way beyond just simply things for vehicle sizes. And you can call these whatever you want. So maybe on your detailing, uh, maybe you call them sedans, coupes, SUVs, but then maybe on ceramic coating, you wanna go with uh, different, instead of writing this, you could write small cars, big cars. You can literally put whatever you want there, uh, which gives you the utmost flexibility for your business. And in this case, ceramic coating, you can see we've added uh, three demo ones here. So. They select the service and then they can choose no paint correction needed one step or three step and so if i check this and then i'm like no actually i need the three step whatever the case may be it'll adjust those things um, as as needed and it gives you the option to collect the right information from the customer and also display the right pricing now i'll go down to tint for example uh, tinting and in my packages if they choose cooper sedan we only offer one type of tint, for example, in this demo. Um, but on SUVs, maybe we offer, you know, carbon and ceramic tint. So in that case, I can put both of those options. So that's where this is a lot more flexible than simply just, you know, what size of vehicle. This helps you take your business to the next level because you can completely customize these options as needed. Uh, so you could even make a, a, maybe you have a winter detailing promo and that winter detailing promo, instead of charging per vehicle, maybe you can make this, you know, uh, include extra mats or include second set of wheels or 
uh, includes this or something like different levels you could even make this dirtiness levels there's there's lots of different things you can do um, and that's where it's really helpful and you can do this for services but you can also do it for packages so I could go and change my standard package to have different settings now to show you that for example I'll scroll down here and I'm going to go to my packages so here I'm in my packages I select money and time and this is going to pull up my options for money and time sorry my internet connection is not liking me recording and doing other stuff <laughs> just a second here dun, dun, dun. I might have to refresh sometimes when I'm recording it gives me a little bit of hiccups but uh, essentially um, when you're in here um, for your packages and your services I'm just waiting for my page to refresh here because the internet's frozen okay sorry about that guys had to reboot my uh my router um anyway okay back in action here um so uh, essentially I'll, I'll go back to what i was uh saying previously so under here we have our detailing packages so we have standard for example and let's say we want to add some options to the standard um, so things that they could have and so this is where i'm back now on my uh, booking form settings as you can see i'll scroll back down i'm in my packages and i find my standard click on money and time and this is where I now have the ability to put in some pricing variations. So this is where maybe this one, we want to do vehicle sizes, but what we want to do instead is small cars, $200. And let's say it takes one hour, add variation, perfect. Then we're going to do medium sized cars. And then we'll do 250. And let's say it also takes an hour. And then we're going to do large and we'll do 300 and we'll say that these ones are going to take two hours instead and there we go boom so now what I want to do is just reorganize these uh, so that they're in the order that I want them in and then now I can save that and disappear and then if I go back I have them in the order that I want them and I'll refresh my form and now if I go to my detailing packages you'll see I have my standard and then I have small cars, medium sized cars and large cars. And so that's where I would have to make a choice. So in this case, medium sized cars, um, you can choose whatever. So that's how easy it is to create these uh, very powerful variations. Uh, so essentially that's it in a nutshell. Won't take up too much of your time today. Enjoy the new feature, have a wonderful weekend and we will talk soon.